I got on my MAGA hat. Red pill lifestyle, and you know the stat. If you ain't rocking with us, we can't rock with you. Real MAGA people gonna back the blue. Turn the music up live for my drumsters. Look at how we move the crowd like some drumsters. What would I be if it wasn't for my drumsters? DM Shabazz, and you can order you some drumsters. I got on my MAGA hat. It's been a very, very unfair process. Uh, the Mueller report, uh, Russia, 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 as you say, which was total nonsense. It was all nonsense. The whole thing was nonsense. But it was a very unfair, and mostly it was unfair to my family. I mean, my family suffered because of all of this, and many other families suffered also. It was a very, very, it's a very serious thing. It should never happen to another president. Very unfair to his family. You know what? We got a member of his family right here. Let's bring in Donald Trump Jr., executive vice president of the Trump Organization and the son of our president. Good morning to you. Morning, guys. How are you? Good. We're good. So, can you elaborate on that? In what way did you, was your family affected? Well, listen. Obviously, there's the part where you're watching this stuff go down to your father. But uh, you know, look at me for example. I mean, I've done 30 hours of testimony regarding a 20-minute unsolicited meeting, right? Meanwhile, Hunter Biden is taking millions. Is literally the start of the entire Ukraine hoax, and they don't even consider calling him. I mean, think about it. 30 hours in front of the House and Senate, I had senators on TV saying that this man committed treason, he must go to jail for life. I mean, this isn't even hyperbole anymore. The impeachment hoax started the day my father won the election, okay? It started, the articles were written during the inauguration, they were typing them, right? The Washington Post made the case for impeachment literally 20 minutes after the inauguration. This is what the Democrats have been doing from moment one, okay? When they were pushing the Russia hoax, my father was renegotiating NAFTA, and he got that done. When they're signing the articles of impeachment, my father signs a historic trade deal with China. That's the difference between the do-nothing Democrats and my father. He's actually getting things done, but he's getting things done despite their unprecedented incoming, despite their unprecedented obstruction. Right. They are not doing anything for the American people, and he's getting it done, and he's going through his checklists one by one. Well, you know how it works. Uh, because the Democrats, Nancy Pelosi didn't want to do it, but she had her super progressive yeah. uh, uh, left flank demanding an impeachment. She delivered on that. Otherwise, you know, all sorts of members of her caucus would have been primaried by much more progressive people. Now, fast forward, she's going to say he's been impeached forever, but the reality is he's going to be acquitted at 4 o'clock on Wednesday. Well, 100 percent. And that was it. You could see in the press conference, no, 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 impeachment, it, it's forever. It's forever. Because that's all they got, guys. That's literally all they got. That's their little consolation prize, because they needed that to do the things. You know, you talk about shift earlier. I have no regrets. Oh, really? You have no regrets? You were trying to call witnesses three days ago. What are you talking about? You blew it when you had it, because you never had a case. You just had a media that was willing to accentuate your talking points, that was willing to do this, as they've done with Adam Schiff for the last few years. Again, I was a part of three or four of those major outrage cycles over the last three years, where a CNN type, look, we got him this time because Donald Trump Jr. did this, because they got a leak from Schiff's office as I was testifying, right? These things were happening time and time again. There's never a correction for the record. The intent is not to actually win. The intent is just try to manipulate the news cycle in hopes that the average American won't do the research, in hopes that the average American won't see through the lies. But honestly, after three years of lies, uh, you know, it's a little bit of the boy who cried wolf with them at this point. I'd like to see them start working with my father, get infrastructure done, lower health care costs, lower, you know, prescription drug pricing, all of these things that my father continues to try to work on despite their obstruction. But I don't think they're capable of it, guys, because they've seen that Donald Trump, an outsider, can come in, can deliver, can go through the checklist of promises and deliver for the American people. And that scares these establishment side people because They've never done that. They've had decades to do that. That's Joe Biden's whole career talking about, I've been doing this for 50 years, and what have you done? The average American can't name I, a single accomplishment, but they can go through Trump, Trump's checklist 
very easily. So let's go. Finally, it's going to be official. We're going to get a result. Instead of speculation about re-election, 2020 begins officially today. Iowa caucus. Correct. The president speaking to Sean Hannity last night on the Democrats. Watch. I'm just going to throw out a name. Whatever comes to your mind. Okay. We'll start with Joe Biden. I just think of Sleepy. Hunter Biden. Where's Hunter? Bernie Sanders. Well, I think he's a communist. You mentioned now Elizabeth Warren. She's not true to it. I call it a fairy tale because everything's a fairy tale. That's how Pocahontas got started. Everything's a fairy tale. This woman can't tell the truth. Michael Bloomberg. Uh, very little. I just think of little. Hillary. I think of email. Pelosi. Uh, I think she's a very confused, very nervous woman. It's uh, her worst nightmare has happened. I don't think she's going to be there too long either. I think the radical left is going to take over. Well, uh, the policy aside, the others, let's just look at the, the field. The word is um, that, the, that the Trump team wants Bernie Sanders. Is that true? You know, honestly, guys, I don't know that it matters. Uh, I, I can think of pluses so or different. minuses uh, for all of them. I mean, you know, I, I, I think I, I, I kind of want to run against a communist and Bernie, but he's also got a very, you know, motivated base. He's got people very. that are showing up mm -hmm. for his rallies, right? There's there's a viral effect sort of like what Trump had when they said we couldn't win. So I, I don't base things on that. I mean, I sort of want to have Donald Trump go up against Joe Biden one on one for five months. I mean, I see Joe Biden in front of a teleprompter speaking to 20 people. He confuses which state he is in at least 50 percent of the time. Uh, you know, this is not a one time anomaly that they would destroy Trump for. This is a recurring theme that's happening over and over again. So, I mean, one on one with Trump, you right. can't hide the same way. So I'd sort of love to go up against him. Sure. Uh, you know, and, you know, Elizabeth Warren, he's right. I mean, her entire career, her entire life is based on a lie, whether that was school, tenure, law, you know, the universities where she's making half a million dollars okay. to teach a class. I mean, all based on a lie.